Pulo will be the one to, uh, to decide the start of this. I think uh, in chat as well. Thank you everyone for viewing and supporting Quick Lives with Zoe. Um, there's uh, codes in chat, guys. So quicklive.com slash redeem. Go over there. Make sure you're logged in. But it looks like the round three between Sparty versus Cooler is beginning right here on Blood Run. This is Cooler's map pick. So I'm going to watch Cooler right now. Sparty, not a big fan of this map. But let's see how he can play it versus the Cooler. I wonder Absolutely how I beautiful should. start for Cooler. Uh, yeah. He can't even somehow whine about it. He has right now pretty playable stack. And uh, only one thing I would say, he, right now he needs to decide where will be his best position to play on this red and try to at the same time to make more damage for Sparky. Oh, so obvious move by Sparky actually. He tried to collect all yellow armors on the map and Cooler just read him so easy. Yeah, we're gonna flick between the two of them at the moment. Stack's very even right now, but Cooler getting the edge with that Mega. Let's see if he's gonna make a play on the red armor. Hasn't been going to the top level a whole lot, but finds Sparty in top yellow. Is this gonna be a kill? Cooler looks like he wants to commit himself to this, but he runs out of ammo. The splash isn't enough, and Sparty, well Sparty's is, but he finds it straight off the spawn. He doesn't want to. Five health, and Cooler just chases to the bitter end. And it's like, thank you, I'll just uh, teabag you while I wait for this uh, re relevant to spawn. Is he gonna jump it anyway? Is he risking it? He is! And there's the Mega on the side as well. Cooler now looking good. There was nothing to be worried about for Cooler. And <laughs> this, it was really funny to see these both frags. Really nice start for, for this map by both players. Uh, only one thing right now left for Color is to get this red first, but uh, looks like he decided to give up it uh, and to not to even to show up on this map. And at the same time, I can feel that he has some missed time on the Mega. He's spending a lot of time there, like it's, it could be really, really bad for him. It was, it, it looked really weird. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Building some stack right now, and he's playing very carefully around the map. Oh, he's one of the guys who's vocal about the not liking this pick pick face, which means he has to play this map, but he's trying to do the best he can with the damage. Simply not enough to keep up with Cooler. Just staying out of his face would have been the best choice for him. Rocket there, and it's gonna be a combo kill for Cooler. 3 1, searching for Sparty off the spawn. And he's gonna actually find him in the rail room, looking for one more shot. Sparty, will he show his face? He will! He tries to kind of dot his way along to the teleporter, but it doesn't work. If you want, we can switch to Sparty to see how he will be able to, to oh. struggle with this play. But actually, it's going so fast right now, 5 to 1. And at least it's best of 3, it doesn't sound that bad in the beginning for Sparty, and he still has some chances to, to get this, this back, to all these frags, even then lead on the extend and extend to the look. Yeah, I, I think it was Cure that Sparty picked, I think I'm not quite soon exactly, but I'm 90% I'm sure that it was Cure. So we'll see that cool, although looking some good vertical damage on Sparty. Uh, Sparty is rolling, is rolling around with 100-100, so Cooler hasn't got it easy, and if Sparty can hit kind of the the rails and LG that we're, we're used to seeing from him, then Cooler will suffer. But Sparty, again, he's going to have to uh, really focus on Blood Run to get the better of, of Cooler. That is, is, in itself is so difficult to do. Reds up. Sparty missing his shot, so he's just going to flee back up to the top yellow, let Cooler stack up on Mega, I think he heard Cooler on the sidelines and decided it was safe to go. Yeah, somehow start to manage it to build this stack. And actually the best thing that he can, he can do right now is to try to make the strip traps and, and try to, to catch Cooler somewhere when he absolutely doesn't expect. But Cooler on ZTN and when he doesn't expect it sounds impossible for me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> he's aware about every corner I'm sure. Anyway, we saw many times how Cooler lost at the end to random players, so... So all Cooler, many things. It's possible, at the anyway. moment, is hitting six times more rail 
I've been Sparty. Actually, I think it's 12 times, essentially. Oh, over here, the fight though, and the yellow one, and Sparty managed to get, but he finally gets his rails to hit. He had only hit one rail the entire game up until that point, then he hits two massively important ones to get himself a second frag. Finds Cooler up on the red armor. He's got a good position to do damage, but Cooler's just got so much health and armor left that he can stand there and take the beating. So the Mega's up. Cooler gonna forget about it. Sparty has the Mega instead. I'm watching Cooler to see what he's gonna do with this level of control here in the second half of the game. Yeah, despite the fact that Cooler made this uh, this frag back, but it doesn't sound look good for him. Uh, because uh, right now he has to give give up all control and there is half of the game still on and uh, it will be really hard for him to come back if he will not get some mayor items back in right now <laughs> because as you can see his party is starting to to make more damage more and more and to even being a bit more aggressive in some moments and he's just found cooler doesn't want to chase through the poke uh, trick point. He waits a little bit before he does that, but he had to give away the red armor in order. And Cooler's now on 100-100. That's not a good item for Sparty to give away. He should have just charged through the trick point regardless. He'll make his way onto the yellow. So that's a, a good thing he's trying to build his way onto some of the items. Oh, what? Two rails now from Cooler. Sparty can get lower yellow. The red's going to be up. Cooler might make a jump over. It doesn't work a jump before Sparty can do too much. A rail for rail exchange in the end. Both players pretty even. Sparty not looking to his left soon enough. And uh, Cooler a little bit lucky, I think, to get away taking no extra damage from his yellow armor endeavors. All game right now is turning to really careful play by Cooler because if he will not do that, he will just start to lose frags and it will be pretty ridiculous. So, I mean, that he will not be... To, to lose this lead right now, it's just... This will be really it's bad for him. But well. wow, this damage? Yeah, I think he finally, he at least their stacks right now are even, more mm. or less. Okay, Sparty looking good, but he's letting Cooler get in his rails, which are just slowing down the way he's allowed to push too much. Sparty, you've got to make a play onto that red. You can't, you can't not do it. And now he's just taking a big rocket to rail combo, slowing it down. LG there of Cooler, and that is eight to two. And now Cooler can start feeling a little bit more free. He's been liberated here on Blood Run. Good lead, and Sparty charging in. Cooler just pushes him straight out the room. Uh, Cooler just trying to just trying to secure lockdown blood run now to secure this uh, this victory. It's best of three though. So Sparty still has something to say, and obviously oh, obviously still has something to say right now. I don't think Cooler was expecting that. And I would say that it was significant crack right now for for Sparty. Mm -hmm. He, without this frag, he would be just uh, humiliated on this map in the next two, two minutes. But right now, he has a chance and a really good one. Um, especially when he got all this control in his hands. And only one thing left to find Cooler for sure. It will be not so easy. But I, I believe in Sparty actually. I would like to see a couple of more frags by him. Yeah. <laughs> Sparty's looking the wrong way though. Cooler was by the bounce pad going up to top yellow. I think Sparty just heard him. He went around and took the other yellow. So Sparty <laughs> looked at one end. Cooler went to take the top yellow. He looks at the other end and Cooler takes the other yellow. Sparty, you've just been punked, mate. We've got the Mega spawning in a second. Sparty hitting one rail. He's going for the direct chase though, which is dangerous. He walked, jumps into some LG, in fact. 28 health left. We've got the Mega up, and he missed, He knew he had to hit that flick rail before Mega was taken. And that is going to be the lights out for Sparty. It's pretty dangerous fight for both players, actually. They both were so close to die. Just one lucky rocket or lucky rail for one of them. And we would see absolutely different picture right now on the screens. But um, nothing to complain about, actually. Collier is winning and only 30 seconds to left. And I'm waiting for next match here. I suppose that Sparty could be more aggressive there. And yeah. uh, even to show us even harder control or, uh, I don't know, something else to surprise us. For sure. 
I think Spartan's gonna show us a, uh, a different game on Kyo. He's looking to have the last word in this one, but uh, Cooler shutting him up with a nice little rail. And so, promising performance though from Cooler on Blood Run. Looking good, securing the first map, no upsetting uh, performances. And he's putting himself on match point. 10 to 3 now for Cooler. Is uh, Sparty going to be able to come back from this? And let's see what happens, actually, if uh, whoever wins next. So whoever wins this game is going to go against the winner of Base Pony, which I don't know if we've established yet. I know that that game went from went one to one, so a lot of even games. Uh, Cypher did get a 2-0, I can see, from Ents. Um... Ash, as we saw earlier, beat Twister. Cook or Pavel beat uh, Ten Bit Hamster two zero, um, and we're waiting on the result between Zix and Evil, and that's where we're going to be getting our top eight uh, lineup basically. And yes, guys, it is going to be Cure as the second map. There's the cooler Moscon spam. That's what I want to see, guys. People cheering for him, though this is going to be a tough win to get on Kier. What do you think are Cooler's chances here, Enjoy? Um, I suppose that ZTN was his best for today. I don't know why, but I have this feeling like it's something that he knows for sure, like a, a Russian player, like an old school player. And I hope that, that at this map he will not just uh, let it go <laughs> all this moment. Three, two, That's the Okay, let's, let's go, guys. Now. Yes, let's one more it. game, Cure, this, this time. I'm on Cooler, uh, just to, to check how he will start this game, actually. And uh, Sparta looks like get uh, red and uh, some some nice weapons. So for Cooler, it's probably will be a bit hard to get them back without rail. And he's doing it right now, taking it. Nice. There was no entry rail there, so Cooler feels happy to chase Sparta with still the rail out. That means Cool is going to be able to pick up quite an easy kill at the beginning. He had the LG, and uh, Sparty just seemed very badly prepared for that fight. Cool has got to follow up with the control, though, if he wants to make the best of this. Mega's going to be up in a moment. Taking shards, taking all kinds of stuff littered around the map. I, I like how attentive Cooler is being on those various items. A rail for a rail, and now Cooler can position himself for the red. Sparty, will he try his luck on yellow? He, he's going for it and he moves down the lower, so it's pretty difficult for Cooler to do any kind of exit damage on him. And the rocket, so nearly did he have it at the right moment. Just one Sparty. second right now, played so good for Sparty. He managed to make this amount of damage. And uh, if he will show up right now on Mega, he has all chances to get a frag. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Cooler does let him get onto the red, even though Sparty was late to go there. Cooler gave him a lot of space, a lot of respect. And this might bite him out in the ass in a little bit, because Sparty will be able to get himself to the LG. And now Cooler's are going to be in a bit of trouble. Let's have a look how this will pan out at the next red armor. Cooler is lying above it. He's waiting. If Sparty goes into that red area, he'll take a lot of damage. But you know what? He might take a lot of damage regardless. So little health and armor was left for Sparty. He just rocket jumps straight into the mega health to save as much time as possible. Oh, Cooler drops down into Sparty's LG. That might not have been such a wise move. The fight is hugely close and Sparty, he'll win it with 15 health remaining. The yellow was taken. Oh. You're gonna be kidding me, really. This frag by Sparty. No, it was nice for sure, but I, I, I bet that it should be cooler frag because he was so confident. This bigger stack and oh, what's going on right now here, really, guys? Good play by Sparty. Look at this. He just delivering damage, goes back because he knows that cooler will be not able to jump for free on this mega. Nothing. Everything, all game right now is in favor of Sparty. That was sick rockets from Sparty, but he's gonna have to wave goodbye to that mega health. He's gonna move out and say, alright, I would love to get that red. It spawns now. Cooler, showing his face. Sparty taking a pretty uh, well, safe decision actually there from Sparty. He's landing some okay uh, rockets, but Cooler moves in. Sparty does not want to let him out unless he's in a body bag. And he's gonna have to. 
Especially There's both of them have the identical The stakes are now even, and it's, it's really strange to see because Puppy was trying to lock Fuller in this small, small corner mm -hmm. to get everything, to make the most, most amount of damage that he can, but dodged by Fuller actually. That's just made it impossible. 3-3, three to three. wow! Both players can't keep their these games on their side because everything changes every minute. Oh my god, a little air rocket there from Cooler. The Sparty, he's got the shotgun, he should have the lightning gun right now, but he's going with the plasma. The 50's up and Sparty just wants to escape. It's like, it's like that, you blink and then the game is just flipped over. You blink again and the game is back on, you know, even standings. Yeah, Sparty definitely has balls to jump like this on Mega. In yeah. front of Cooler, in front of his nose, it was so, so risky to do that. Apparently Sparty is on 120 health, 70 armor. Sparty though, getting a much better start to that fight, sitting in the water, he doesn't want to be there, but it's going with the LG Cooler chasing him down, but Sparty is hitting so damn hard right now, keeping this game alive, and he gets the- he had five health left when he took the Mega, he's looking for the final shot to get a- a fifth kill, but he's actually oh my, decided, look okay, at this. no red. Red. He, he just- he just decided not to go there, he hurt uh, Cooler for sure, but at the same think, moment, no, he could just uh, just uh, return to, to normal stack really easily and faster probably. He would have been he would have gotten killed leaving the red armor. Like Cooler was so quick getting to the upper position that there would have been no way. Sure, Sparty could pick up the red, but what happened after? You know, he wouldn't be able to tell. He was looking for safer options, and at the moment he might get another kill, but he's only got 33 health left. Any kind of splash would help. And he's being so evasive. Cooler, will he go for Mega? He will. Okay, he's just moved down onto the yellow. This might be another kill for Sparty. It absolutely is. And he's keeping the lead going. Less than half the game remains. And uh, Sparty is looking for that tiebreaker map here in round three. Very close game. And it's really interesting to see that both players managed to keep it so, so close to, to each other on the scoreboard. Wow, what a rocket by Sparta right now, the South sending. Oh. You can't hey, clutch then. it, don't yeah. go for it. <laughs> it just doesn't, doesn't help, how it doesn't work, how it could not work. These amazing rockets, awesome rails, and somehow Cooler this time managed to get a frag. It's just incredible what's going on here, guys. I see uh, Cooler chasing at the top. Their case, there's no barrier for Cooler. The LG, though, is it enough? He's only got 28 health. It's so little remaining. Sparty is on about 70 collectively, and Cooler just breaks away and gets onto the 50, 50 health bubble. I can't tell who's gonna win this map at the moment. It is so freaking even. Sparty with that rocket at the beginning. Slowing Cooler down a lot. Cooler still has about a 50 health edge, but another good rocket from Sparty. There it is. Another one. It's going to be a kill, quite possibly. It will be. And the red was taken. He looks for a spawn frag on the other end. And not going to find it. And now, actually, Cooler's in front. It's really, really bad time for Cooler. There is nothing to do but attack right now. And he's doing it perfect, actually. He could not... Uh, turn the situation better at this moment. There was nothing to spawn, there was nothing to take and to protect or to make traps, nothing to prepare before and prepare prepare ahead. And somehow just could have managed to, to get this frag back. And another one. Whoa. That's the game tied right there. Man, that damage at the Mega from Cooler was just insane. And when he found the little pop rocket to rail, Sparty was walking around the map on three health. This might be Cooler about to take the lead here on the second map. Remember, guys, if Cooler wins this, he's through to the next round. And Sparty is out. 2 0. There's the lead for Cooler. Could it be happening? We'll just have to wait and see because surely Sparty has got some extra things to say in this. I'm gonna look at Sparty for a bit. No LG, it's kind of annoying for him. He sees that the red's up in a moment. Cool draws, but the rock two double, uh, two direct rockets, and then the red's gonna be up right now. Sparty manages to get the kill. <laughs> I can't believe this. 
That makes no sense at all. Sparty's rockets were just sublime then. And push his core into the Mega, but the amount of damage of the LG is this going to be the lead for the Sweden? No, he can't find the rail shot. That would have been the kill just then. There's five seconds until red. He's hoping to hell that Cooler will not chase him into this pit. And Cooler, he's by the yellow armor. Sparty's allowed to survive a bit longer. What is happening to this game? He just spotted Cooler over there, but he didn't actually go for a rail shot. Ten seconds until items. I just hope that both player right now will a bit slow down because it's becoming a bit dangerous for both of them right now. One minute left and this weird game still continues. Oh my cooler at the uh, game. It's so, so aggressive. Mega? Why are you going to Mega Cooler? This is so dangerous right now. He's going to drop onto the lower platform. Cooler, can you defend yourself from this? A rocket pump to LG. That is the lead for Sparty. The yellow armor is going to be up as well. And now Cooler. In order to get himself back on a tight game in 40 seconds, he's going to have to insert the kind of an element of chaos into this and try and use some rockets like uh, Sparty was able to earlier. Cooler's getting bounced around. He might just risk it and go into the other rockets. He's hitting a lot right now. Sparty's in trouble and he dies! Cooler gets another frag! <laughs> he might get another! Line. Sparty's in trouble! It's the lead for Cooler all of a sudden! Sparty, where have you spawned? Okay, says Cooler! Sparty, you can't give up right now! Switch over to his point of view! He needs to rocket jump towards him! He's found him, but Cooler hits a massive shot against him! That is 2-0 for Cooler in round 3! Can you imagine that? Only the last 10 seconds we'll decide who is the winner of the match. Wow. We might as well <laughs> not have seen the first 9 minutes and 50 because it was the last 10 seconds basically or so that decided that. Jesus Christ, Sparty, why did you step into the water at the end? I mean, it is insane enough that Cooler tied the game up, but it is even more insane that you walked in there, you walked in front of his face and didn't just plead and beg for mercy to get an overtime. Oof. For sure, okay. the weirdest game so far <laughs> on this tournament today. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious if we will see more because actually I expected something from this guy who beat uh, Avic, and I was expecting something like this from 